Hey, MLS listening subscribers. Thanks for tuning in to another Vendor Spotlight. We've got another great show, and as usual, I'm your host, Dave Scalora. Um, today, we've got on, we're going to talk some mobile uh, application. And so we've got, I'm proud to say, Shireen from Prospects, um, MLS Touch, as you all probably know them. Shireen, Hi, everybody. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, David. How are you? Oh, doing great. Thanks for so much for coming on. I know it's your first time on the show. We've had MLS touch on before, Marie. Um, and I know she's she's moved into a different category with still with the company, right? Yeah. Uh, but we're great. We're thrilled to have you on today. Um, you know, I get the question a lot, Shreed. It's always, <laughs> especially now that we're out more and more and about agents. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the, the open houses have been rolling for, quite, for a bit now. They're back and people are getting more and more out. And the question always is to me or Mark is, hey, you know, what mobile solution? Solution do I need, right? And and whether it's branding or lead generation, um, a, a listing management component to it, mm -hmm. you know, that's something that I, I could probably say, hey, MLS Touch, right? Yeah, you guys have much. it all over at Prospects. We pretty so much do. It's a it's a fantastic app. Um, and on this show, we do like to just show either whether it's new new stuff or it's just something not being utilized. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's what we love to kind of point out here. So I'm going to let you. I know you've got a little uh, demo to show us some of these cool highlights, and I'll let you really take it on away here okay great well i'm glad i'm glad you mentioned that because uh we're gonna do a little bit of what's new and a little bit of what's awesome right uh not sure if it's underutilized or not but it should be because uh, some of the features are game changers we're gonna look at lead generators we're gonna look at lead capture and we're gonna look at what's new in the hot sheet because we had an upgrade uh, about three weeks ago uh, we upgraded the app to version 3.8 so we're going to just take a look at what uh, Fantastic. Stuff. Awesome always works for us. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So if you don't mind, I'm going to share my screen, David. Fantastic. Like Dave said, my name is Shreen, and I'm the client development and coaching manager here at Prospect Software, which is the company behind MLS Touch. So today I'd like to show you a couple of features uh, after our, our upgrade. And I'm going to be breaking down this uh, presentation into three parts, if that's okay with you, Dave. First, we're going to look, take a look at the the changes we made in our hot sheet feature, which makes this functionality more efficient for our everyday use. And then we'll take a special dive into two powerful lead generators. One, the branded share feature, and second, the Facebook publishing tool. So if we're all ready, let's go. Uh, let's go, there we go. <laughs> so first and foremost, uh, just a quick recap on how to download, install, and log in. It's really, really simple. Uh, if you don't have the MLS Touch uh, application already, uh, it's very easy to access it, whether you have an iPhone or an Android, you basically either go to the App Store or the Google Play Store, you look for the MLS Touch application, it's always free. So if you stumble on one that's charging you, that's not us, um, and just tap on the app to download it. Once it's downloaded, you tap on the icon to open the app, you select your state, which is California, your board, which is MLS listing, and then simply use your matrix login to access the app. It's that simple. And I hope everybody knows that MLS Touch is offered as a free member benefit complements of MLS listings, right? Oh, we, we, we hammer that, so yeah. <laughs> definitely. Good. Well, today I hope everybody just walks away with this uh, vendor spotlight with just a couple of more benefits. Um, Okay, so first up, what's new in the hot sheet feature? Now, the hot sheet feature is the gray button you find on your home screen. Now, every time you open up your app, you land on this home screen over here. So we added some essential functionalities to facilitate the information on the go. On the go sorry. So I'm going to pull up my air server here. We're on the home screen now, and your hot sheet button is the gray button at the bottom. I don't know if you can see my little mouse swirling around. So let me tap on that so I can access the hot sheet. And here we go. So as usual, um, you can select up to 10 locations, which is the last uh, option on the bottom. I'll tap that. I'll show you mine. I pre-selected these just for the fun of it. Um, and then I can press next, which brings me to the hot sheet uh, to the hot sheet feature itself. So with the latest update to the app, all listing statuses are now available at a first glance. So you've got your active listings on top, second is your pending contingent, then you've got your sold, your price increases and your price decreases. Price increases is something new. And we also made sure that all background market listings now are now displayed in active listings. So it's really, really a, a complete picture of the entire market we with these added functionalities and then sorry about that 
I like the price decreases. That's nice. It is. Yeah. That's been something I've heard. (laughs) One of the things that we've added is the ability to uh, toggle quickly between the number of days. Previously, it was stock at five days over here. Now we added from one day to 30 days. So you just by tapping on the on, on the, the, the time frame, you can see all the changes that have been made uh, from 30 days. You've got 14, seven days. I can even go back to three days. So if it's Monday morning and you want to see what happened on the weekend, this is a nice way to do it. We even have access to what happened since yesterday, November 16th. Everything is live and everything is is. Uh, it, well, it's live. So yesterday in the areas that I've chosen, of course, which are pretty much all of Orange County, we have one active listing and we've got one pending. And the fun fact here is that about an hour ago when I tested this, I didn't have any pending or contingent. So that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> live data. Up to live <laughs> data. We also upgraded the ability to filter by property types, which is also very new. So if you if you go down to the bottom over here, uh where's my arrow here change property type so it's the one above change location if i tap on this everything that i i selected this by default so all the uh, categories are selected but i can just i can just go for uh your residential uh, lease and rentals and i can tap apply and it'll give me what happened since yesterday so i've got one active here which is a new residential uh, I guess it's offered by it's offered for rent as well, and or I can look at the contingent one. So one point two million dollars, and if I go back to change property type and I type in just for fun here, uh, uh, da, 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 commercial lot, no, not commercial lot, residential lot, because we have. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'll tap apply, and we've got nothing since yesterday. Let me go three days. Nothing in three days. Let's go five days. Again, nothing here. Let's go back two weeks. Okay. So I got one that's pending. So like I said, it's all live information. It's pretty, it's pretty cool what we've added. So let me just get rid of my air server here. So that's for hot sheet. Now let's take a quick look at brand and share. I don't know how familiar your members are with brand and share, but this is an amazing feature of MLS Touch, which is specifically designed to put the real estate professional front and center. And it has two purposes. The first part is with your customized brand, your customized colors, uh, everything that is, every single interaction done through the app is personalized. So every email that you send, every listing that you send, every text message you send, it's all personalized with your personal branding which helps keep you top of mind, which is what we want, right? Because the more people see you, the more they remember you, the more they remember you, the more they refer you, and we all know how good that is. Now, the second purpose it has is with every effort you have to stay top of mind, you can reap some serious benefits by offering your entire network, whether it's a customer or a prospective customer or just people you know, a customized and exclusive real-time consumer MLS search platform branded to you so they think it's yours and and this is is a real game changer so hopefully we can take a look at this together and some people will walk away with uh with a brand new uh objective for 2022 right Mm -hmm. um so let's go we're going to go back to our home screen and we're going to start with branding the app okay so when you go back to your home screen uh, we're going to tap on the more more menu, which is the bottom right, uh, the bottom right, right under the hot sheet, and we're going to select brand and share, which is you, which is the second button to, uh, which is the second feature you have here. So once you're once you're in there, this brings you directly to the brand and share settings, where where we're going to customize the branding, your your brand. So by tapping the select logo button on the top right of the screen. You're going to be prompted to your camera roll. So your your logo needs to be saved in your camera roll prior to uploading it. And um, you'll see that uh, the, the recommended size is 400 pixels by 100. So something rectangular is better. Now, some people have gotten creative. They've taken their photo. They've attached it to their logo. If you're somewhat comfortable with photo editing, it's very simple to do. Or you can hire someone to create a nice 
logo in that format. So once you've found that in your camera roll, simply tap on your logo you can, and then you can uh, resize it. So it looks something like that when you're resizing. And it says here, once your image is selected, uh, recommended size 400 by 100. So you've resized your logo. Once you're done with that, you tap on the done button and it's gonna be prompted you're going to be prompted to select your colors. Now here you can select up to three individual colors from the color wheel, or you can simply choose your brokerage from the preset list. So you've got the preset list over here, or you can play around with these colors. You've got your primary, your accent, and your varying colors. Once that's done, uh, you can simply tap apply colors logo, when save it and forget it, which means that once it's saved, everything will go out with this particular brand. Um, but it doesn't, but it doesn't mean you can't go back and change it if you need to. So you can preview, uh, what you've just done by tapping the preview button. Now, once you tap on the preview button, you'll be prompted to either view, view your branded mobile app. You can view your email layout and you can view your listing layout. So whenever you send an email, an email or a listing, it'll, uh, it'll show you exactly what's, what it's going to look like. Now, I just want to mention a fun fact. If ever a broker changes brokerages in their career, and we know that this happens sometimes, everything that you sent out from your app previous to your changing of brokerage will automatically adjust to show your current brand. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So if I've been working with a buyer or a seller three months ago, and I was with, I don't know, ABC Realty, and all the stuff that I sent him was with ABC Realty, and th th this morning I changed to XYZ Realty, well, all of a sudden, everything that he's received from me for, that had ABC on it will now have XYZ. So no need to worry about that. Uh, okay, let's get to the sharing part. This is the most fun part. So now that you've personalized your consumer app and it's ready to go, this is when we start spreading the good news. So we're going to start by tapping share my app. So once we've applied the colors and the logos, we've previewed everything is fine. We tap on the long green button at the bottom that is share my app. Now, this is what happens. This is what you see. There's, there's a few ways you can share the app. Now, if you look at over here, it says your installation link. Now, everyone gets um, a, a personalized installation link. It's a unique installation link. So you can copy and paste this installation link, okay? You can send it by SMS. So if I wanted to send you, Dave, my personal link, I would tap send by SMS. I would type in your name and this is what you would get, okay? You can share this individually. So let's say you're Jessica. Hi there, please use my link to download. Once you tap on that, we'll see what happens in a little bit or I can send it by email. So if I tap send by email, I can type in my address or choose from my contact and my recipient will get this email. So these are the three ways we can share the app. Now, this is what they'll this is what they'll get. So let's say I I received it by email. Once I tap on the link, this is what I'll get. This is the lead capture. Just just stay with me here, okay? So this is the lead capture form. So I'm going to write in my name, Shireen, my phone number, my email. I'm going to submit, and all of a sudden, on my phone, I'm going to get the MLS client app. Once I tap on MLS client, this is what I see. I have the same thing or almost the same thing as the MLS touch, except it's got my branding, my colors, and it, 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 th this is where I can do my searches. This is where I can look at my mortgage calculator. I can do map searches. I can add to favorites, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. That's great. And so they know that they see that branding and they know that you're the one giving them access I'm the, to that app. I'm, right? I'm the one. I'm the one. Now, by by accessing that, it, it links the broker or the, the it links the agent to their client. And because of the matrix integrations, all the communication, so whatever listings they choose to put in their favorites, I'll get to see it. Whatever discards, I'll get to see it. If so, I've sent them 10 listing listing opportunities, I'll get to see what their possibilities were, what they discarded, what they're interested in. I'll get to see everything. So you, you're keeping a, a live eye on your client's habits, right? Which helps in just so many ways. So here's some of the lead capture. Go ahead. 
Nice, nice. And, and I want to point out, that's great. Uh, that link you showed, uh, so that actually uh, doesn't change, right? So no. that link you could put into a, let's say, a, an auto wall, an email signature, uh -huh. right? And send that out. And the more, the more, you know, clients click it, the better. You're, you're way ahead of me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fantastic. So now, now I want to look at some of the lead capture strategies, exactly like you're talking about. So there's a few strategies that you can do. One, one is like you just said, adding the link directly to your email signature, signature is a definite proven lead generator. Now, you have to, you, the, the brokers or the agents have to understand the more it's downloaded, the more you can capture leads. Then it's up to you to convert them, right? So adding the link directly to your email address is one thing. Um, if you're still wondering what to send out to your database as an email campaign, why don't you just introduce the branded app, uh, you know, to your contacts, maybe ask them to forward it to family and friends. It's a great time. It's Thanksgiving. It's the holidays. Add it there as an introduction. Um, you can copy and paste your link to your Facebook page, your Instagram page, or your LinkedIn profile with a call to action. Something simple like real-time access to the MLS via my exclusive, not exclusive, but exclusive <laughs> mobile app or see what, see what I see on the market, free download now, right? Um, and then last but not least, talk to your webmaster. This is with the installation link, it's really, really simple to add it directly to your website. So these are just some of the strategies or some of the places you can use this link. And uh, it's just to spread the good news. So why would you consider doing all of this? Because like I said, every share translates into a download and every download uh, translates into a lead. And well, the more leads, the better 2022 is gonna be looking. Now, what, what happens when somebody actually clicks on it, right? So once it's downloaded, you will get, you the, you the agent will get a no notification. It says Martin Carter has downloaded your app, bing. Uh, so every time, uh, Every time you get a notification, it, it's, it, it gives a whole new meaning to the happy dance because I, I'd see this notification. I'm like, all right, I'm going to get the lead. <laughs> <laughs> so once it notifies you that you got a lead, you open up your app and um, you tap on your contacts button at the, at the bottom, bottom middle here. So you tap on your contacts icon and you check out your lead because once you tap on contacts, you'll get two columns, your current contacts and your leads. And if I tap on my leads, well, I'll get whatever lead was, was, uh, was notified. So I've got one lead, two lead, three leads that are new. Once you tap on the name, you can either accept it uh, or you could reject it. But I, ne I never recommend you reject it. If you don't want it, why don't you just pass it along to a junior colleague and make some money that way, right? I mean, the lead is the lead. Uh, but whatever you do with it, it's up to you to engage, convert, and close them eventually. Oh, my arrows are here. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we got it. So, brand and share. So now that your clients have launched your branded app, you're exclusively connected, and these are some of the exclusive insight that we're gonna be able that you're gonna be able to have in their usage, thanks to, like I said, the matrix integrations. So within their contact file, you can monitor their behavior towards the inventory. So you can check out which, which listings were the ones that were added to their favorites and their possibilities and which ones were discarded. You also have access to an exclusive in-app messaging feature to discuss and collaborate properties of interest. So you can message directly to your client and then they can message you back. And it's just it's an exclusive conversation. So last but not least, Facebook publishing. The Facebook publishing also acts as a powerful lead generator. So once the feature is activated, it automatically publishes your new listings, your price reductions, your open houses on your Facebook business page. Automatically, it pulls it from the MLS. So let's see how we do that. We're gonna go back to our home screen. We're gonna tap on the more menu once again, and then we're gonna select the Facebook publishing tool, which is right under brand and share. Once you tap on that, you'll be prompted to connect. Once you've tapped on connect, oops, <laughs> once you've tapped on connect, you're going to be asked to uh, connect. You're going to ask to be cho to, to choose which Facebook 
account you want to connect. Now, note, it does not publish to personal uh, pages. It only uh, publishes to business pages. So if you have one or two or five pages, you can ask for which one it wants to connect to. And once it's connected, it'll automatically pull everything. All changes that are made to your listings will be published on Facebook. And that's about it. That's a, that's a lot of great stuff. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's wonderful. I love the I love the lead generation. The branding is always branding is always big, um, and I love how you can just take that link, throw it in those you know um, signatures, and nice and easy. Yeah. Um, so much. Uh, yeah, Shireen. No, thank you. I know you're going to come back on later on once you guys got even more stuff. You always seem to have something new or yeah. something. Um, I love the hot sheet as well. So I, I know we've been hearing, you know, I know it was only five days before and we've yeah. always wanted that. Hey, can you get, you know, yeah, uh, so 30 you. days should be, that's it. Listen. Well, you guys do listen. No, it's fantastic. <laughs> so I tell you, buddy, I, to reiterate as well, it's free. You can get it for the Android. You can get it for your Apple phone. I right? just go download it nice and simple. Um, and uh, so I'd encourage everybody. And if you want uh, to get some really in-depth training, obviously we cover some of the highlights, but if they want to go ahead and get some of that training on using some of the other functionality um, on our training calendar, we have uh, linked up classes, right? Um, and those oftentimes are right with, uh, we teach it a little bit as well, but we we link them right to your guys's right uh, trainings, mm -hmm. um, and I think we can throw some links up there uh, up on the screen out. But um, Shireen, thanks so much. Um, looking forward to have you back on, and you know, next year, twenty twenty two. My pleasure. My and pleasure. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much, yeah, everybody. Tune into our next vendor spotlight, probably Vex B next year. Uh, so we'll all see you there. Make sure to check out our pro support page for additional videos on a full range of topics. And don't forget to click that subscribe button on our MLS listings YouTube page.